Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and a couple of things I want to bring to your attention today. Uh, Rafael Grossi, he has been appointed to another four-year term uh, with the International Atomic Agency. This right there on the heels of the latest comments that he made about Iran's nuclear program. And he, this is a man who's been warning about uh, Iran getting nuclear weapons, which I always find that such a laughing uh, joke there, knowing that Iran has had nuclear weapons for more than a decade. Yeah, more than a decade, Iran has been a nuclear armed state there, uh, but they still keep doing this big fancy words, trying to prevent it. They're at 84% enriched uranium, which is enough for weapons grade material type thing there. Uh, and yet, we get all these kind of fanciful words there. Eric Stockelbeck over on his channel, though, he actually spoke about it. I'll, I'll play a little clip for you from Eric Stockelbeck's channel and uh, let you hear what he has to say. Because it definitely, to me, it just only raises the drum beats of war. It will cause uh, Israel to attack Iran. Uh, Israel knows Iran has nuclear weapons. Intelligence community in Israel has told me they know they have nuclear weapons. And this is just all part of the charade. But listen to what Eric has to say here. A nuclear threat over the past few years. He's made statements saying, look, folks, they are very close to having the bomb. Something needs to be done. That's why I'm scratching my head, and certainly Benjamin Netanyahu and Israeli officials were scratching their heads about comments Grossi made over the weekend on Saturday, March 4th, in the context of him talking about these great, apparently fruitful talks with Iranian officials. He also said, and I quote, any strike against a nuclear facility is outlawed and does not, and I'm paraphrasing, so you have Eric saying there, he quoting him, that any strike against a nuclear facility would be outlawed. Um, and, and then, of course, like I said, right on the heels of that March 4th meeting there, March 10th, he's appointed for a four-more-year term uh, to the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency there. So we have to wait to see how that's going to play out. Uh, also, though, Israel is having a tremendous amount of problems going on there in the country. Uh, as uh, we speak here, uh, civil disobedience needed if Israel passes judicial changes, former Prime Minister says. That's talking about Ehud Barak. After I played for you the other day what Ehud Barak said, he then, he then goes on uh, to yet another program. And uh, CNN, speaking to Farad uh, uh, Zakaria on GPS, Ehud Barak said, Once a government using the tools of democracy in order to destroy it from within and ends up acting in blatant, illegitimate matter, it is not just the right of the citizens, it is, in my judgment, the obligation of citizens to turn, unfortunately, towards civil disobedience. So there you have it. Uh, he goes on to say this is an attack on the very soul and nature of our democracy. Barack, who served as prime minister from 1999 to 2001, appeared on Zakaria's program with Sipi Livni, a former Israeli justice minister and former vice prime minister. Former uh, defense minister and chief of staff of the military, Barack uh, raised the possibility of the Israeli military refusing to accept orders from Netanyahu's government if it, if it improperly seizes more power. We do not have a contract with a dictatorship. And once there is a de facto dictatorship in Israel, we do not have a contract with them, he said. Military Barack clarified that he was certain soldiers would obey orders if the country's survival was in jeopardy. Um, but, but, you know, this is just how serious this right-wing government that Netanyahu has gotten and, uh, or has tried to put into place there. And so, so many Christians that are supporting Israel, you know, you've really got to take and pay attention to what's going on inside the country. Democracy as we know it is being totally unraveled in this nation. If you truly stand with the Jewish people, then stand with the Jewish people right to have freedom of choice, freedom of religion, freedom of, of conscience, everything is at stake here. We're talking about a totalitarian dictatorship that Netanyahu is putting in place with some of the most extreme right-wing radicals that have ever been known in the Israeli government who have murdered people, killed people, and, and get away with it legally within the system already. I mean, that's just how messed up the system is. It allows the criminals to go free while the innocents suffer and die at, at their hands there. Do we really think that Jesus 
would ever stand for such nonsense. I don't see it happening personally, but that's my take on it. Uh, also, too, on Twitter there, Thomas Massey says here, just got off a Zoom meeting with the Fed, Treasury, FDIC, House, and Senate. A de Democratic senator essentially asked whether there was a program in place to censor information on social media that could lead to a run on the banks. Uh, well, I can understand, like I said, the sentiment. We just did a, a video over on our Patreon channel, Patreon uh, uh, and I'll put a link for you here in the description, Israeli News Live on Patreon, where we're dealing with this very issue there. Uh, I can, I, I don't agree with censorship, but at the same time, I know that there can be such fear placed in people that does cause run on banks there, um, uh, especially with independent media. You know, we have a responsibility to be cautious in, in creating a, a more volatile situation than what we already are facing with. Uh, and you got to remember, too, you're playing in their hands. When you do that run on the banks, you're playing into their hands because why? They want a new world order. They want to federalize and nationalize the banking systems there. Anyway, Ethan did ask me not to go public uh, with who he is as of right now. Uh, I want to respect that. I appreciate him tremendously, but I can continue to share that information with you. Uh, I think it's very important, very vital what, what he brings out here because it definitely lets us know the ec economical situ uh, 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 the economic situation that we're facing at hand. Um, he also uh, let me know there were a couple of other things that just came out too. He said, uh, Egypt, he said, if inflation continues to persist in their national security, the bailouts that they receive will still do little to prevent their default. Uh, that was something else that he pointed out to me. So definitely check that out. It's on Patreon. Uh, the information on the bank bailout and the nationalizing of these banks there. Everything this man has told me uh, is not every single thing, but pretty much he's about, I'd say, 90, 95% spot on on his information. And uh, normally he sees it months and months in advance. Uh, so it kind of gives us a little idea of which way things are going to go next. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, also at the Noon Institute. Uh, and speaking of the Noon Institute, before I get into that, here's our numbers here. We're 397,646. Uh, we have had a climb. YouTube constantly boots you guys off. They don't want us to be able to, to grow. Uh, they censor like crazy. Subscribe to Israeli News Live if you're not subscribed. Make sure you are. Hit that notification bell. Everything we can to do, uh, they'll just, because if not, they're going to knock it back down. Then they start unsubscribing people. So we really appreciate your help on that. But let me take you over here to Noon Institute, uh, and I'll put the link in for you there. Uh, we just did another video on Noon Institute. And again, uh, going into... Um, uh, we're going into testimonial things there. Uh, oh, gosh, I don't even know if I can get over there. Let me see. That's an old video there. Let's see if it's... Yeah. No, it's not on the Noon Institute. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, gosh, how can I... I guess it's the way I'm doing this is what it is. I'll put the link in the description below for you. Uh, let me just go on to my channel here, and then maybe if I hit the Noon... Uh, whoop, the Noon Institute... Uh, that way you guys can, here we go, there's the channel there. We have not a lot of people that are subscribed. There's where we do teachings at. We do testimonies how so many came to Christ. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to be a blessing for those of you that are watching. And I actually had done another video um, right before that that I'll load later this evening. i got to run into town so I can't stay any longer. But... Uh, but I really want to share that information with you as well. Uh, but I ended up separating the two of them because I just thought it'd be better. Just felt on my heart to separate the two. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Patreon forward slash Israeli News Live. Uh, Danun Institute, Israeli News Live. Subscribe. Our website is down, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Though powers that be are always trying to shut us down. Uh, so we should be back up and running before too long there. And so if you want to support the broadcast, we greatly appreciate it. It's back up already. So uh, God bless you, Jamie, for getting that up and running for us there. You can donate online. Click right there. 
uh, or by mail. Denon Institute, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee 37872. And I'm sending out a Sent out a bunch of letters the other day. Going to send out a bunch again today. And I'm going to continue this evening sending out letters to thank you for those of you that are so kind to help keep us on the air. God bless you and have a great night.